is massive. Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel. And I believe last time I talked about taking the 243 to find maybe some red deer. Uh, so wherever he went, Wilfred, he's over there smelling the trash. I, I don't know. Dog doing dog stuff, I guess. All right. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to head one of these ways that way. I'm going the wrong way because I want to go and kind of circle around the back here and see what I can see in the way of red deer along this hillside that way. And then shoot him with the 243 and see how long it takes Wilfred to uh, track him. Couldn't take that long, right? Hmm. Was that you making noise or did something just run up here? Oh, it's you. Every time you... Ah, great. Forgot you make the twig snappy sound because you can't uh, walk around the uh, plant life. Wonderful. Hmm? Where are you going? What? I, uh... I honestly don't realize how long it's been since he stopped following me. Come on, buddy. What? How did you... Not gonna ask. Now, oh, this is a pretty nice spot. I got a good little view here. Of course, it doesn't mean there's anything to view. Unfortunately, I think my wind is completely against me, so I may actually move across and get to that next peak. Uh, at least it's a pretty area to be in. Letting out a few calls doesn't hurt anyways. Stirs things up. Maybe I'll see or hear something moving around. What now? I don't know where he went. Or why he's acting like he's lost a track. I haven't had him tracking anything. Oh, there you are. He does not like navigating the side of this hill. He just keeps stopping and barking. If he's finding track, I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anything, seen anything. I've almost made it completely around the summit and nothing. Oh, there he is. I think he's stuck. Like, I'm guessing he just can't pass find his way to me. Oh, boy. Alrighty, I've made it to a spot where if I keep going around that way... Uh, goats. I know I'll come across goats. Red deer are probably down in the woods over here. I, I don't know where Wilfred went. Wilfred has gotten stuck almost to the edge of render range. He's... He's just not able to follow me along here. On the plus side though, this is where I've I've picked up some pretty big red deer out of here before, so it might be an idea to drop down just to level and come across and up. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Plus it might offer an opportunity for Wilford to catch up. All I have to do is go down without dying. Should be simple enough, right? Should be, no, maybe not, okay. Little scary. The only issue is in here, I gotta take it slow because I'm not gonna see him. I'm gonna have to listen for him. That's kind of impressive. Wilfred is now outside render range. Still hasn't caught up. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, Wilfred has suddenly just reappeared right over here. And I think I heard chamois. I do, I see movement right down there. Oh, there's a few. I'm actually gonna move back up a little bit so I can get around this, see around this tree here. Fortunately, I don't know enough about the chamois to figure out what shooters look like. That one doesn't look half bad right there. This one just keeps moving around right there. I might grab you. Oh, maybe? Or should I go for that one? You know what? Let's grab you. Uh, did I miss? Oh, they're still running around back there. So what I might end up doing is, uh, I guess sit tight for a second, see if any of them come back. If not, Wilfred should have something to do since I'm pretty sure I don't see a body over there. So I either screwed up the shot or at least uh, I think I'm still carrying soft points. Ah, there they are. Looks like if I'm careful, I might be able to nab one or two more. I think I might go for that one next. Doesn't look like the whole group came back. Oh, unless they're up there. I gotta use a scope. That one doesn't look too bad. Oh, I can see the blood on the ground from the first shot I took. That guy could not have made it far. God, they walked down to that brush and just dis a frickin' peered on me. Wait, what's that right there? I think that's the dead one. 
It's not moving. I'm going to say that's a dead one. All right, bud. You're the only one I see. I'm going to try and touch you from the front. I think we succeeded. Oh. What? I thought you were a chamois running around. Turns out you're not a chamois. All right, let's go see what we got. Come on, Wilfred. If I get the opportunity, I still want to move on and find some red deer. There you are. Can you find it? Can you find it? Gotta take that as a no. So number one was a three easy female, 5220 gold. Wow. I think someone told me that chamois can actually make, uh, like they kind of like the Gemsbok. They can score just as high as the males. Well, I'll take it. And then what was it up here? I mean, that guy rolled. I, he's dead. Sure he's dead. Or he played dead. So I think it's the goats you can shoot. They'll drop sometimes and get back up. He did not get back up. Or she. Apparently I can't tell. Come on, Wolford. And that was a neck shot. Another female 3A easy. A 4850, so another gold. And I... Well, neck shot, I'll take it. I was I needed to go a little more to the right to make it a lung. But because it's lower neck still counts, or middle neck. Wow, what are the chances? Well, I'm sorry, Wilfred. We didn't find you anything to track just yet, but trust me, when I find a red deer, you'll have things to track. Now, I did start this hunt a little late in the day, so that's the sun going down. Uh, but I think I have high hopes. So this little, uh, kind of hollow thing here, pretty nice. I usually have pretty good luck finding red deer here, and, well, since I circled all the way around and got to here anyways, I figured, why not give it a shot? So I think I'll run up my hours with some calls and see if there's any movement in the area. Usually they'll come down from up the hill, but also usually in the morning. Lay down, bud. Please. Is that... That might be you laying down. Ah, time for the waiting game. So I was just about to... Hop down to move a little bit. But I got some noise coming in from up the hill here. That sounds staggish. That sounds louder. With daylight running out and the fact that there's a lake on the other side of this hill, I'm thinking my best bet is to try and move closer to them. He says with a very big question mark, hoping he's not about to screw it up. Wait a minute. Where'd this track come from? There's a game trail right here. Wilfred and I came in from over there, so it's not uh, either of ours. Unless it's Wilfred's? Or is that us? Did I come in the wrong side? That? Okay, maybe it was. Oh, I startled something. He went up that way. He looked decent, too. Lay down. Hopefully that doesn't startle him. Hmm. Is that what I saw? They look bigger when they're running away, I swear. Well, I'm going to creep down to the water, see if I can get better eyes. If that's it for the stags in this area, then looking at the daylight, I don't know that I would take them. Only because I know the 243 is not going to drop them on the spot, and I don't know if I want to spend all that time tracking them with Wilfred going into the dark. Those kind of look... Are those the red deer? No, those are Sika deer. Over that way. Somewhere. Ah, oh, look. There's a hind. Wilfred, you're bugging me. Lay down. That's... I don't think that's the same group. Yeah, you're the same one I saw earlier. Okay. They went right, not left. I don't know. This guy comes in all the way. I might take him. But in all reality, I'm kind of leaning towards wait till the morning. Go to my good red deer spot. And see if there's any biggins. I, I don't see where he went. Yeah, I don't see where he went, and it got too dark. So, he gets to live. Thank you for not killing me. Yeah. Moving on. Hey, finally. Red deer. Hopefully you have a big strapping boyfriend following you. You kind of do, not really. I wouldn't mind that. I would be happy with that. There's more up the hill I can see. Ooh, you. You're not bad looking. Stay calm, Wilfred. 
I want the stubborn one in the back there. So we got a little one right there. Somewhere over here is another iffy size. Look at that guy. Just walking away. Not a care in the world. Did he just lay down? Pretty sure he just laid down right there. Come on, big boy. So there's two stags over there. The one on the right was... Doesn't look too bad, but that one on the left... 200 yards. That's 100 yards. I can get both these... All these stags over here to come in, no problem. These two on the hill just do not care. You don't look bad. I think you look pretty cool. <coughs> Cheebers. Ah, well, there's a stag. There's a stag. That's, that one's not bad looking. But I really want the guy on the left of the two that are sitting up there who don't seem to care. <coughs> it's not my fault you know, guys don't get it. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hinds. Oh, wait. 14. I guess let them all settle for a minute and then try calls again. I, I don't... Pretty sure he's within range for the caller. I almost have a clear enough shot I could take it. Because he's facing me, laying down with his legs to my right. If I had the Eckers or the 338... Or not the 338, the uh, 303. Not a problem. Seriously? You, oh, you guys are still here. Hi. Most of you have figured out to run away. Oh, there's more coming from behind me. Okay. They've all walked away. Let's try it now. <coughs> Come on, big guy. I'm trying to think if I have another option here. I might be able to get down, work my way up in those trees, and see down to him. I might have to try that. Yeah, alright. So there they are. So if I can get up there, quietly, slowly, I might have a chance. Shh. Over it. Quiet. Not good. What's all this down here? Hang on. Oh, I keep getting that stag to move in. No problem. Oh, hi. Look at that. There he is. Still don't have a clear sight, though. Maybe they'll... I'm just gonna let out a call. If he doesn't react, I'm gonna keep moving, because I don't want to get caught up in all the hinds. He didn't budge. See, look, look at all the freaking hinds going to where I just put that call out down there. And that one little stag. Look, 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 look. I found my shooting spot right next to this tree here. Like, I gotta wait for some movement. Actually, maybe not. I might have a clear shot right here. No, 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 no. Please don't. And what am I willing to bet if I move to this side of the tree, that tree's gonna be in the way? Eh, maybe not. It was a hit. He stood up and he did the head pop that made it meant he was alert. Probably my wind. I don't see a whole lot in the way of wind indication. Wait, or did Wilfred spook him? Because look at him. Did he, could he not figure out how to get up here and he went all the way around? I, I swear to God, does that dog, did, did that dog, did, mm-hmm. God, I hope I made it past that leg bone. All right, well, I'm going to start creeping my way down there. And I'll put Wilfred on the blood. I'm hoping there's blood. I know I hit him. I just hope I made it around the leg and got it into a lung. I got movement. Wilfred! Bloody hell, animal! Lay down. Quit shoving me around. You're not a bad-looking guy, either. Oh, definitely chamois in the area. Got a pile of hinds right there. Part of me is curious. Should I see if I can grab this stag over here as well? Yeah, you're not bad looking either. I see him running around in circles down there. Alright, I think I've done enough shooting of the stags. With any luck, there's two down. Time to put Wilfred on the trail and get that first one figured out. There's also chamois behind me. So this track here should be the first one. Come on, bud. Right there. Where'd he go? You're not the one I shot. Yeah, I hear you. I'm coming, bud. 
I'm working on it. Keep it up, bud. Oh! Oh! Oh, there you are. Oh. I don't know why I'm still sneaking around. I don't want to take any more. Is that you? Oh! Yes. Looks like low to medium bleed rates. So that's a good sign. So this right here, I would say this is the best use for this dog. Because even if I had tracks on and everything, anyone who's oh. hunted red deer in these areas knows that it's actually a pain. Because oh. even with tracks on, there's just so much activity that trying to distinguish where your animal went can uh, prove quite challenging. Especially when you're using a very small rifle. Uh-oh. Oh, I hear him. I... Oh, it's him. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, good job, buddy. Let's see what we got here. He is a 202 gold. And when he stood up, I got it right behind the leg for that left lung. He was a 7 very hard. Holy sweet potatoes. And I'm going to have to hit accept. Because, yeah, I'm going to die. No, I'm good. All right. Well, now it's time to head back up and see if I got the other one. Just go ahead and set him to track blood and see if he can pick it up. Nope. He just whimpered to let me know he couldn't hear it or smell it. Hear it? He couldn't hear death. We should be close enough, yeah? Yep, I think he picked it up. Jeez. Oh my lord, he moves. I think he's... I think he went this way? Wait, I hear him? Oh, he's over here. All right. Track the animal. I saw a lot of videos of people power leveling their dog. <laughs> Wing a red deer in this forest. That'll put him tracking for a while. Oh. Looks like a dead red deer. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hang on a second. This area looks familiar. Uh, is that because it is? Yes. Hang on, because we're right up there. My stand's on one of those trees right up there. What'd you find, bud? Look at that. Good job, bud. Let's see what we got here. Another seven very hard. So those were both seven. Wait, this is a 211? The other one was only a 202, right? How is this one higher scoring? Wow. That's... Apparently I got a very massive red deer there. And even with the soft point in the 243, it's still drilled in enough to get that lung. God, I like this. Like It's like hooky hand things going on here. I love it. I love red deer. 1326 cash, I'll take it. <laughs> 32 yards. That's probably why it had the penetration. All right, Wilford. Come on, you did a good job. Come here. Or you know what? Actually, let me remember how to do this. There you go, bud. Great work. Pretty sure you were just cross-eyed there for a second. All right, come on. Stand and tense back this way. So, not an all bad day. It got a pair of chamois, a pair of red deer. Apparently both pretty massive red deer. 243 rifle. Great all-arounder on this map, especially now that I got Wilfred here to track uh, the deer that run off forever. But that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, because there's buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't, and as always, buttons to push. Until next time. I just got growled at by something? Okay, back to the tent.